F1S right to review rule has been described as more of a right to complain. The FIAA has created a police state by tightening up its rules around Formula One's right to review regulations. That's the view of British racing driver Richard Bradley after F1 team Haas saw their request to revisit incidents from the U.S. Grand Prix thrown out. Haas made an official right to review request after footage emerged from the Austin race that allegedly showed several drivers exceeding track limits. One of the culprits was Williams driver Alex Albin who finished ninth, just three seconds ahead of Haas driver Nico Hülkenberg who finished outside the points in 11. Had Albin been slapped with another five-second penalty following a fresh review the 27-year-old would have been bumped down to 11th position earning Haas a point in Texas. Haas submitted their request within the required 14 days but it was rejected by the FIA who said that although the evidence against Albin was significant, it had already been available to the stewards during the Grand Prix and as such was not new evidence. Not only was the request thrown out, but the FIA have now changed the right to review rules. Instead of a 14-day window to submit a request, teams now only have 4 days or 96 hours to do so. A fee will also be introduced. Speaking about the situation on the latest episode of the On Track GP podcast, former Le Mans winner Bradley said, I'm not a fan at all. This feels extremely, I don't know it feels a bit like, dare I say, it's like being in a police state. It feels like you've got no right to complain, no right to review, and every single time that you do complain, and someone finds a loophole in the regulations, they just all of a sudden go, oh, no, we can't do that, and of course, then the money thing comes into it as it always has. In fairness, the money thing is not too bad, I kind of agree with that. Because in a normal way, it goes with the protests. Because you're going to waste everybody's time potentially is that you have to pay an extortionate fee. But if you win your protest, then you get that feedback. I really, really don't like this, it leaves a very sour taste. It's been run by them, and you can't complain against what they decide and that's it effectively. So I hope that it doesn't get implemented, and there's somebody within the sport who is a bit more outspoken about this. Because if this comes down to categories outside of F1, where we don't have as big an influence over the FIA, then I'm really uncomfortable with it.